So I'm going to do Dream Song 1 um, that you're writing about this week. Um, a couple of you mentioned that you don't really hear the poem, you don't hear the music in the poem. So I, I thought I'd give you my take on it. Um, it's a poem that uh, I've always found quite musical. I agree that I don't like the way Berryman reads it online. He's always sounded kind of whiny to me. Um, this was one of several hundred dream songs in which the character Henry is uh, someone who muses on things that have gone awry in his life. Um, there's a character he creates that he has a conversation with. Um, it switches back and forth in, in person from third person to first person. Um, so it's a bit odd and, and dreamlike in how it's presented. But uh, here's my take on Dream Song 1. Huffy Henry hid the day. Unappeasable Henry sulked. I see his point of trying to put things over. It was the thought that they thought they could do it made Henry wicked and away. But he should have come out and talked. All the world like a woolen lover once did seem on Henry's side. Then came a departure. Thereafter, nothing fell out as it might or ought. I don't see how Henry, pride open for all the world to see, survived. What he has now to say is a long wonder that the world can bear and be. Once in a sycamore I was all glad at the top, and I sang. Hard on the land wears the strong sea, and empty grows every bed. So there's Dream Song, uh, Dream Song 1. You will hear the alliteration in it. There's quite a bit of assonance and consonance. Um, I think it's a very musical poem. Um, so hopefully this reading might help you, I don't know, help you find a way into the poem to talk about the poem.